Welcome to the part 2.4 of our three move course. In this course, we'll talk about what is an NFT and how to build an NFT in Sui. All right, let's start with introduction to NFTs. So what is an NFT? NFT, also the non-fungible tokens, are tokens that we can use to claim the ownership of unique items. Fungible tokens, on the other hand, can be exchanged because they have the exact same value. NFTs can be a song, an artwork, or just a meme. So what's the difference between an object and an NFT in Sui? The answer is, there is no difference. So technically speaking, every object in Sui is an NFT, since all of them have the unique global ID, and which makes them non-fungible. Now, we'll look at some code example of how to build an NFT in Sui Move. Alright, so in a new terminal, you can enter the Sui Move new example to initialize a new di uh, directory. So, uh, under the sources we just created, we will create a new move file called the example NFT uh, move. And here are the three move APIs that we use to build an NFT. Then it's a structure for our example NFT. We have the ID, the name, description, and also URL. So you can customize your own NFT structure by adding or deleting some fields. Just remember that the objects in Swimove must have the ID field and also the key ability. And here is the event. So it basically tells everyone who mint what NFTs. And now we define some public getter functions for an NFT's name, the description, and also the URL. The mint to sender function, as the name suggests, will first create the NFTs and emit the event, then transfer the NFT to the transaction sender. Note that it is a public entry function, so both of them are visibility modifier, and public allows calling from other modules, while entry means it can be called directly in a transaction. In the end, we provide some public functions you can play with, including the transfer function, update description, and also the burn function. Notice that you can only burn an NFT by deleting its ID from the Swiss storage. It does not matter how you change other fields of it. And now you have all the codes to implement an NFT in Sui. You can add some more functionality or just customize your NFT and publish the package on chain. So that's the end of this lesson. We have introduced what is an NFT and how to implement it in the Sui move. I hope you enjoy this lesson. I will see you next time.